r slash ask reddit what's the most inappropriate time you laughed at my grand aunt's funeral she was a big jolly food lover while alive and is sorely missed everything was going along lots of tears while the vicar was giving the eulogy until he shared her last words come on a little whipped cream isn't going to kill me i lost my chat this was 10 years ago and i still feel terrible for laughing was it the whipped cream that killed her though that's the only proper question to this my grandma died two years ago at 94 and four years she'd been warning everyone that she could die any minute she was quite healthy for her age one Christmas she told me which reading I would do at her funeral. One Easter, when my uncle from the other side of the family was telling her about his 95 year old mother, my grandma told him the government should just kill everyone at 95 and get it over with. So her impending death the family joke for over 10 years. Then at her funeral, which she had planned every detail of years before, they played I'll Fly Away which is a really dancey joyous song about dying. It was so her. My sister and I made eye contact, and after that we lost it. We were trying to cover our mouths and faces, but our shoulders were shaking, so my cousins behind us thought we were crying, and tried to comfort us. Eventually we were laughing so hard we were crying so it even a doubt. Sounds like my great gran, but she passed away at 81. Always joking about how it was her last Christmas, and what not for years. At her funeral they played another one bites the dust and it just set us all off. Incredible woman. A woman got on stage to sing during a friend's wedding as part of the ceremony. It was naturally a song the bride and groom chose. As soon as she opened her mouth it became clear that she absolutely tone deaf. It sounded like an animal being tortured. I was trying not to laugh but two guys behind me started laughing and it set off a chain reaction of laughter. Even the groom was red faced from trying not to laugh. She just kind of sheepishly left the stage afterward. This happened at my wife's grandfather's funeral. A woman sang a completely tone deaf and broken version of Amazing Grace. Her voice was somehow gravely and ear piercing at the same time. My wife and I sat there squeezing each other's hands as hard as we could to hold back the laughter. I always had a problem laughing when I was being scolded in my childhood. Then I would be scolded further for laughing. Then I would laugh more. It was a vicious cycle. I remember hearing that laughing in the face of an angry parent is a natural defense mechanism of some sort. Source, my college psych professor. Makes sense. I assume it's a way to lighten the mood and relieve tension with laughter. It did not ease the tension. Believe me. Cadaver room. One of my classmates accidentally stuck his finger in a kidney because he thought it was behind glass and tried to poke the glass. He was like, squish o duck. In high school we saw a display of healthy lungs versus smoking lungs. I went up and poked the healthy ones thinking they weren't real and I guess I just had to feel them. I was horrified when the unimpressed person at the display told me not to touch and that they were real. My computer's teacher in middle school told me he was run over by a car when he was a child. I laughed because I thought he was joking. He was not joking. Pretty similar story for me. I was in high school. This was road safety day and a cop told us a tragic story that ended with and, well, he got run over, you know. He said it in such a way I just couldn't help it. I burst out laughing. For some reason, I read that in a midwestern accent. Well, he got run over, don't you know? Someone told me the first memory he had of childhood was of being hungry. I also laughed thinking it was a joke, but it turned out it was about him being so poor. He and his brother were always hungry growing up. Kinda similar. I did a very strict keto diet for 8 months and lost a shad load of weight, so much so that my doctor asked me to stop. Anyway, sometime during the first month I realized that this feeling was exactly how I always felt at school when I was a kid. Starvation. That feeling was starvation. This was at a ballet school performance. It was for kids ranging from 5 to 16 year olds. For one of the younger age groups, they did this thing where one kid pranced from one corner of the stage to the other and then another kid would do the opposite in a big X pattern. And they would have these gigantic shat eating grins on their faces. Just horribly precious. Well I started losing it at about the 15th kid, but it went on for like 40 children. 
by the end I was in tears, and all the other adults in the audience near me had found it contagious, so everyone was just sitting there laughing at their own children. LMAO, this mental image alone is making me giggle out loud. Me and a friend were all to boys. An older woman took to the podium to read a Bible passage. The passage described how Jesus loves everyone, the sick and the healthy, the rich and the poor, the circumcised and the uncircumcised. That's all it took for a pair of 10 year old boys to start laughing hysterically in front of a packed church. A few years ago, I was participating in a religious ceremony with my extended family. I'm not that religious, but my mom and her family are, so I agreed to participate. I was tasked with reading one of the sections aloud, and had to read off a list of titles of the Virgin Mary. Most of them were pretty straightforward, Queen of the Angels, Queen Most Holy, etc. But there's one section that starts with the word virgin. I get to it, and I'm trying not to smirk, but as soon as I said the phrase, virgin most powerful, I glanced at my brother in my SO, and they were grinning at me. Their grins caused me to burst into giggles, and I had to excuse myself, while my mom glared knives into me. My brother continued the rest of the reading. A buddy of mine tried to fart on the pew in church, and ducking and loaded a dump truck load of shat into his pants on accident. This was during a quiet moment, and I was absolutely howling with laughter. Even a regular fart is a bad idea, because it'll clap and echo right off those hardwood pews. Shatting yourself in church is just exquisite though. I would never let him live it down. Lord Shaw moves in mysterious ways, huh, but one way to get the devil out. My friend's dad was driving us to go camping. He told a story about how he got in a car crash and died on the way to the hospital, only to be brought back. I laughed nervously cause I wasn't sure how to react and he took it as me laughing at him and got offended. At the time, I couldn't explain why I laughed. That was an awkward car ride. A young teenager was leaning forward in a chair at a restaurant, lost traction, and slammed their face into the table. Absolute hysterical sobbing ensued. Their parents stopped eating their salads to make sure they were okay. They were, aside from a nosebleed. I was sitting at the table next to them, and cracked the duck up at the sound of them hitting the table, and even more, when they started crying. I was a horrible human being in that moment. Feel bad after the fact, but in the moment it tickled me to my core. My parents still giggle about some misbehaving kid that fell out of her chair like 25 years ago. Just some complete stranger they happened to see on vacation. Group therapy. A kid, 22 or so, but you get the idea, was talking passionately about his struggles with Asperger's and OCD. He had a squeaky voice. He started talking about his OCD categories. Things that belonged under the earth. Things that belonged on the earth. Things that belonged in the water. And things that belonged in space. He named specific objects. Rocks, bugs, etc. He said there were some things he could not fit neatly into his categories, even if they seemed like they were supposed to be in one. This distressed him. He bemoaned cars. He bemoaned women, and pointed at one. Then with no seg, announced that the reason he was there was because he snuck into the zoo at night and leapt into the lion enclosure. I had to bury my face in my elbow and turn away. Of course his problems were real, but it just seemed so out of place on a day when people were talking about who diddled them when. This is a bad one. We were watching a news report on coronavirus, and this lady was talking about her dead mother or grandmother. She was saying adjectives about how she looked when she died. She was this, she was that, and then I hear the legendary line, she was, dead, obviously. Wasn't that funny, but I started chuckling, and my family noticed. I tried to stop but actually couldn't. Had to excuse myself, after they continued to make statements which I found hilarious funniest and most evil 10 minutes of my year. We can't really help it most of the times though. Humor in a situation, is just a lot more obvious in an awkward situation. Not the most inappropriate, but when I started my job on L&D, someone was telling another person about a woman whose baby had died. The first person asked oh my god, what happened? And the second person said it died, and it made me laugh a little, because of course it died. The woman wanted to know how, 
Second was, a nurse approached me recently and asked me to call someone to fix a bed because we were moving a patient in it and it folded and she got stuck in the bed and I lost it. I laughed so hard. I was once hired to sing at a funeral and right before I was called up, the little boy in front of me ripped the loudest fart. I dug my face into my lady friend's shoulder and my whole body trembled as I tried to keep it together. Within seconds I was at the pulpit and trying to come up with what I would do if I broke out laughing. I sang to the best of my ability at the time, with a cough every now and then. We left immediately afterwards and laughed in the car till we couldn't breath. Kinda jumping off your small child at funeral, ex-uncle-in-law died. He was a piece of shit, but we went to support my cousins since he was their father. During one of the times his family was droning on about what a good person he was. A little girl shouted no, he's a doo doo head. Thank god we were sitting in the back of the church because my mom, my aunt and I lost it. After the most horrible terrorist attack in our country's history, I was in class with some people who survived it, and one of these was a really fat girl. She was telling the story about how she survived, and it included a part where she said that she rolled down a hill, and despite the seriousness of the situation, I couldn't stop myself from laughing at the thought of her actually rolling down a hill. Yes, I know I'm going to hell. I just thought about that for a second, and I think I'm joining you in hell. My daughter was in probably first or second grade. And she was doing an online math homework where she had to answer a bunch of math questions and it would give her percentage correct at the end and then re-ask the ones she missed. She was down to one question and got it wrong, so she got 0% correct. She bust out crying because she got 0% and for some reason I thought that was so funny that I bust out laughing and couldn't stop. And then she got even madder and cried harder because I was laughing at her, which made me laugh harder, which made her cry harder. I have two. One, an elderly customer, like 80-ish, was pushing a cart and fell over in slow motion the cart falling on top of him. I took my lunch break and laughed the entire 30 minutes. Two, the worst one, when my older half-sister found out her uncle was murdered. I have absolutely no idea why I laughed, I guess it's because, while I knew what death was, I couldn't process murder, and didn't know how to react, and I still feel bad about it years later. The first one though. I have been picturing this, and laughing about it for 10 minutes. <laughs>